Hey John, thanks a lot for spending some time. Congratulations on the win. That was awesome. Thank An all you. Pittsburgh win for the first time ever yeah, it was out the here. First time. We had a great time today. It was a beautiful day and. Uh, the car uh, ran like a champ, and it's the third year in a row that I've won with this car, and it was a real pleasure. Yeah, we see the uh, Crown Royal. Uh... Crown Royal, it's a, it's a three-bag, three-peat tribute Excellent. that the mechanic did for the car for this year. And he, he was talking about printing up t-shirts a week ago, and I asked him, please, not to put that pressure on me. <laughs> so this is what he did for, uh, for this weekend. So we've been involved with the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix, actually, the year after it started. Uh, I think this is the 28th year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dottie and I started with them in uh, 1984 and have been uh, very active. But in 19, I'm sorry, 2000, we began to race uh, in the Vintage Grand Prix. We bought an Elva that we shared for a couple years. Then I bought a Lotus and we split it up that way. And now we have uh, the Lotus, we have the Elva, we also have the Caldwell Formula Ford. We just bought a Mini. And my uh, pride and joy, the 1975 Zinc Super V. Tell us about the car. This car was one of three made in 1975 by the Zinc folks. And it was originally raced in 1975 by Lou Gelati. And Lou actually uh, came to fame in the Trans Am series uh, and still sponsors some cars. But uh, this was Lou's car. It was number two. Uh, the guy that I bought the car from had it repainted in a different number, but I put the two back on it, but I couldn't use two because somebody already had it, so I had to put a one in front of it. Excellent. But the, the, num the car is going to be two for the most part. Wonderful. Hey, how are you? We're right in there. Great to see you. <laughs> So tell me about the Scuderia here. The uh, Scuderia Giodoro is uh, basically John Gio, Giovanni, Doro, Dorotea, and Scuderia is just Italian for a team or a, a paddocked uh, race group. And so it's Scuderia Giodoro, John and Dottie's race team. Excellent. Wonderful. And your wife races as well. She does. Dottie and I started the same year. Uh, we were both car nuts uh, as kids. Um, we would have started a little early. We did a lot of car things together, but every time I brought up wheel to wheel racing, she said, oh gee, I'm not sure about that. And so finally I said, I can't take this anymore. On patron parking day, I can't watch these guys race anymore. I gotta race. So her response was fine, I'll race too. Excellent. And so it's been that way ever since. So it's a whole family thing going it's on. It's a family deal. The one thing I don't have to worry about is if there's a race somewhere, I don't have to make excuses with my wife to go on the racing uh, weekend. She comes right along and she races as well. Now I see that you've got uh, you've got Joe Mandel's car here as well, and Joe, you, Dottie, Jay Thier, yeah, Jim Southwood, Nate Shiliano, we all race together. Excellent. Uh, we're good racing buddies. Excellent. Um, sometimes we race together, sometimes we're in different groups. Um, Joe and Jay and Nate and Jim were all in my group in this last race, which... I yeah, was... saw Nate sitting on a tire here earlier. Yeah, he was sitting on the tire. So uh, he came in fourth, Jim came in third. A buddy of ours from Palm Beach, uh, uh, Tom Grudovich, came in second. Tom and I had quite a battle today. Yeah? But... Uh, I knew he was back there, and after a while I just thought, well, I better get serious about this. Now, right before 9, I heard there's some ripples in the track. There are. Going into, uh, from 9, going into 10, I think from the constant braking, the asphalt has begun to ripple up. So basically, I come through 9 hard and veer over toward the right, miss all the bumps, stray over toward the left and make my turn. Nice. So it's worked very well for me this week. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm gonna. Ch I, I have to check the time sheets, but I have a hunch that I will have had the fastest time of, of anybody here this weekend. I'm just guessing. Though. It was true last year. I saw that little smirk at the end. It, it might be true this year. I'm not sure. Excellent. Now, now the reason I bring up Joe is yes. because you guys also do some other things for the Grand Prix, which is the Bossa Nova night on Wednesday night with all the race cars on 7th Avenue. We do. In between the two races, Beaver and Shenley, we have a cocktail party in Bossa Nova. A lot of people come. Actually, Joe and I have a band together called Johnny B and the Accelerators. And the band's going to play, and we expect four or 500 people. Excellent. That should be a lot of fun. A lot of race cars on the street block off the there'll city be, street. There'll be a few race cars. There'll be a lot of exotic cars. 
it'll be a great night. Beautiful. Excellent. Hey, John, thank you so much for the interview. Really appreciate it. Your pleasure. All right, Thanks man. So much. Thanks. Bye now. All right.